hello it's April 23rd 2022 and uh, I'm in the Robin Cap 10 uh, at Bolt Head which is Sulcombe Airport uh, just checking out some alternative scenery this is the upgrade uh, by Super Spud uh, so I'll fly a circuit perhaps do some aerobatics because this is an aerobatic trainer and uh, then have a look at the scenery so let's get in the air Quite a crosswind, as you can see from the windsock. We're up, looking down Kingsbridge Estuary towards Sulcombe. We won't fly around Sulcombe today. We'll follow the local rule. In the real world, you can't fly around Sulcombe. It's a no-fly zone. We'll just pop out over the cliffs and the coastal path. I've walked that path from Hope Cove round to Sorkham. It's eight and a half miles. So, a bit of buffeting as we come across the cliffs. And we've got 1500 feet so that's not really the sort of attitude you should have but it will do for today so uh, let's try a roll try and keep the nose on the horizon a slow roll not that slow Whoa. well wasn't bad and how about a stall turn Point the nose straight up. Wait for the rest to drop off and we'll kick it over to the left. Reclaim the altitude. And go for a loop. Over, throttle back, there we are, well that's enough falling around, let's go back to the airfield, So I'm not a real pilot, <laughs> I'm an armchair pilot. We've come quite a long way out to sea, haven't we? And if you look down the coast towards Cornwall, you should be able to make out Burr Island. There's a posh hotel on Burr Island. That's not it down there. It's round the next headland somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, about five miles away. Just off the coast. Towards Cornwall. 
and so you can walk across to Burr Island when the tide's out. So, let's... One thing you notice straight away about this upgrade, compared with the Neil Birch upgrade, which is the other one I have, is that Super Spud has removed the trees from the end of the runway. Which makes it much easier approaching from the 110 direction. Time to get some flaps on. I have to keep reminding myself that this airspeed indicator is in kilometres. I keep looking down and think oh, I've got 100 knots, that's no trouble. <laughs> but I haven't, it's about 65. <laughs> Not far off stalling. So you can see the end of the runway there. Just come in for a, a regular gentle landing. It's a bit of turbulence. It's not me, honest. And you can see the car park at the end of the runway. mentioned the crosswind on takeoff. It's not exactly a 90 degree crosswind so it shouldn't be too troublesome. It's coming from about 45 degrees on the compass. See the car park very clearly there, and the uh, direction of the wind. Oh, a little bounce. Not too bad. Oh, there's the building halfway along the runway with the vehicle. In uh, Neil Birch's rendition of this airfield, he's got a few other bits and pieces there. And you can see uh, the uh, guest parking with that. Looks like a piper over there. So I'll just carry on with the taxi. And swing round in a moment and show you the uh, the buildings so it better defined or much more much more up to date or maintained in this rendition and a more detailed radio tower there You can see the sign for visiting aircraft. We won't go there. Just have a look in this hangar. You could even park in there. But we'll stop here. Parking brake on. Mixture to full lean and uh, turn the battery off. 
Thanks for watching.